This traditional remote control can control the object that could make a revolution in the history of aviation. The patent on disc-shaped flying apparatus was acquired in 1999. However, the incarnation of the idea and making the working model happened just a few days ago. Nobody was believing in this idea. They would say that this is a utopia that is similar to UFO. They promised me once to finance my project, but I only had to run back and forth to different instances. The former military is talking about the promised project financing that was given to him in 2002 after the detailed studying of his project by the Security Council members. The apparatus was supposed to prove several theories. First, that the wings located within a few millimeters apart and rotating opposite directions from each other could guarantee the vertical takeoff. Second, the unfamiliar wing shapes in aviation would provide a quick takeoff. And the third, that it would lift more weight than its original weight. This construction that was built with the material used in aviation construction weighs 2.9 kilos. The test proved that it can lift one and a half times more weight in addition to its original weight and conduct the vertical takeoff and the landing without having any problems. With just the difference that this working model has five wings on the discos instead of 15 wings that are calculated for the original one. Originally it is supposed to have 30 wings, but then the lifting power increases and you have to increase the power of an engine to support it. Because the working model is not equipped with the control system, we could have the crash of this model during the takeoff. That's why I did not install all 15 wings on this one. The vertical takeoff in the helicopter has been sold for a long time. However, they have strictly defined construction. If the distance between the upper and lower blades is not maintained, it will get crushed. Getting the wings together, like I have on this one, one is impossible. The inventor Kvalacelia states that his construction will not have similar problems when reaching the supersonic speed. At any given point, the he heat of opposing airflow is excluded because it rotates and flies same time, as well as the overheating of its body. It's excluded too. One more advantage that the inventor thinks his apparatus will have is comfortable landing and takeoff on a 45 degree slope thanks to its hydraulic legs. According to the author, the crushing of his apparatus is less likely. If you imagine that some emergency situation has happened on the board, on maximum height due to electrical shutdown and the apparatus started to fall, in this case the wings start to rotate in the opposite direction and the auto rotation is in effect, during which the fall is excluded and it will have relatively smooth landing. The apparatus will have two engines and two generators. The generators will provide us with the uninterrupted power. When we have the uninterrupted power, that's when we switch to the electromagnetic control system. There are a lot of inventors working on disc-shaped flying objects and there are even more legends on UFOs.
Several models of round-shaped flying objects were made by Paul Muller in the past century, but the flying principles of Muller's models are radically different from Grigol Kvartsheli's flying principles. However, the both authors have the same opinion, that these flying objects are the cars of the future. This is the example of computer version, vertical takeoff and landing. Take off and landing on the 45 degree inclination slope. Manerve. and rectilinear movement.